Hath the story of Abraham's honored guests reached thee, e, O Muhammad? When they came in unto him and said, Peace, he answered, Peace, and thought, Folk unknown to me. Then he went apart unto his house folk so that they brought a fatted calf. And he set it before them, saying, Will ye not eat? Then he conceived the fear of them. They said, Fear not, and gave him tidings of the birth of a wise son. Then his wife came forward, making moan, and smote her face and cried, A barren old woman. Peace and salutations. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. I am your host for the Underground News Network, Aital Ayman. We have noted in our first discourse of this series that Quran is multi level, and so are most English words which borrows from the Arabic. We take our alphabet from the Arabic as well the angled Arabic numbers. This we have in common with the characters of shadows. Quran is a book of many level mysteries. We will tonight take a look at the Anunnaki God Anu as he deals with one of his men, Iblis. In some translations of Quran, it is said, Allah, i.e., the God or the gods, which in essence is Allah'u of Nibiru, the deposed king of Nibiru who escaped to earth and discovered gold, died on Mars. His image was carved on a rock that was his tomb. You are now in tune. On the one, the force itself at this time, we call it the Master Blaster Jemmy. Have you not heard of the face on Mars? That's Alalu. When Enki asked the other angels to bow down to the created being, Aduma, the Adam, in admiration of the God's great and wonderful work, it is written, Iblis said, in essence, Hell no, I'm not bowing down to no damn created being. Now, understanding, not understanding the wisdom of Allah, the gods, being that all is good and wonderful work of the gods, we should marvel. So, in the God's wrath were created rituals that all believers remember the handiwork of the mighty God. So today, each time a Muslim pray, he is paying homage to the handiwork of the first genetic engineering experiments of the Anunnaki. In the postures of the prayers, i.e. salah or salat, the word Adam is spelled out. The standing position spells the letter Alif A. The bending over, touching of the knees, feet together, uh, uh, hand on your knees, looking down, the letter Dal or D. And the Pashta Sajdu, uh, sajdu uh, is. Uh, the prostration point uh, of touching your face upon the ground is a letter M. So Alif Dalmi 
Alif Dal Mim spells Adu. So we see that each time a Muslim pray, he is giving homage to Allah, uh, uh, Allah's handiwork, meaning that all is good, and we should admire Allah's creation as Allah loves all His creation, all is good. Now, as we started last night, the mighty wisdom of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the mystic nation of Islam. We'll try to cover it here in this discourse, but if we don't, we will do another one. Mecca <clears throat> is in the east. Chicago is on the east coast. That's the central point of the nation of Islam. When a Muslim in North America prayed to the east, puts his head to the ground, not only is she pointing to Kaaba at Mecca, she is also pointing to the flagship temple of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad at Stony Island. Why Stony Island? When a believer prostrates his head touches the ground or floor and his hands down his pineal gland touches the floor his is in the middle of the pyramidic shape of his hands this is referred to in scriptures the pineal gland uh, in the middle of the head as the stone this is the stone the church of Christ is built upon. In the early days of the nation of Islam, the temple was ran by the son of Elijah Muhammad, Warak Din Muhammad, who wrote the book as a light shining from the east, which covers the mystic teachings of the nation of Islam. The mystic teachings of Dr. Farad Muhammad tells that the nation of Islam had the symbolic 60 year period of rule. Uh, Wallace Muhammad was one keeping to the traditional teachings. His followers became Sunni Muslims. They followed the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad and they prayed. They did the rock house and they prostrated themselves. So what I'm showing you is the mystic wisdom of the Master Mason, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So a lot of the spiritual exercise uh, based upon consisting of movements called rakals and when one's in prostration the position involves having the forehead, nose, hands, knees all toes touching the ground sujud and this is submitting to Allah and accepting and expressing your admiration for his handiworks you are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. And we see we will be going into part three of this discourse. You are now in tune on the one. They said, even so saith thy Lord. Lo, he is the wise, the knower. 